r slash askredit. What do you use to remind yourself that everything isn't that bad? Posted by Ugandan Kermit. I don't need a wheelchair anymore. Amazing. This internet stranger is happy for you. I can die later. The world is going to kill me whether I like it or not, so why not stick around for a few more decades and see what happens? In some ways it's comforting to know I don't have to do this forever and I don't have to kill myself. Curiosity and things to look forward to. Even TV shows, games, movies, or visits from relatives. I always pick something to look forward to. I've heard that's a really good strategy for people struggling with suicidal thoughts. Pick one or two things that are coming out weeks or months from now, a new game, book, movie, whatever, and remind yourself that you will miss out on that one thing if you go through with it. It's the little things that keep us going and it's the little things that are often the most important. I try to remember that we're all just making it up as we go along. Biggest realization for me as an adult was when I learned nobody actually knows what they are doing. Just their best. I think about the fact that all things considered I'm reasonably healthy and there's no warrant out for my arrest. I heard a guest on the Joe Rogan podcast say, a healthy person wants a million things. A sick person just wants one thing, I use this all the time. I had a stroke a couple of weeks ago, only 27 and no health explanation for the event, and while I was in the hospital walking down the hall with my good old buddy Winston, what I named my IV drip machine pumping me with blood thinner, an older gentleman across the hall saw me and told his nurse I was far too young to be in the ICU. He had a little plastic pumpkin for Halloween and not much else so he asked the nurse to give it to me. I never found out which patient gave me that pumpkin but since the stroke, whenever things get stressful I look at it, now sitting on my desk at work, and remember that everything is okay. I plan on keeping my little plastic stroke pumpkin for the rest of my life however long or short it may be. Wow that's an incredible story, what an amazing act of kindness. I wish you the best health for the future. I text a friend and see if they want to have dinner. We plan something and cook it with a good drink, then another, repeat as necessary. Life feels pretty good after a few drinks and dinner with friends. Also I get to try out a lot of new recipes. What are these friends you speak of? I learned in college the danger of having friends you also work with, so now I pretty much just don't have friends I can just invite over. When I lay down at night with my cat, who is 20 years old. She's such a love bug and I am so lucky to have had her this long and all the stress just melts away red heart. I'm sure she's just the sweetest thing ever. My cat was at the sweet age of 13 before she left us, but I swear the snuggly ones get even more so as they get older. I have a roof over my head. Yeah man we're not all that lucky. My cat pretty much instinctively knows when I'm down. He gets very cuddly and won't leave my side if I'm upset. My fiancé always says that he must be a loved one reincarnated. My name is Cat, and even though you cry sometime I know you know that when you're glum and gloomy too. I'll hold you close. I am there for you. That despite the fact I suffer kidney failure and I am on dialysis three days a week. I remind myself that I am at least still alive and can still be with my family many other serious illnesses don't give that luxury. Would like to point out I am from UK for those who have asked. Scotland to be more specific. Riding my bike and listening to music, it takes my mind off of everything, and I forget what's going on and I'm just happy. I think about all the natural wonders. All the organisms, both beautiful and terrifying, that inhabit this earth with me, I think about the fact that no matter how bad things seem on our pale blue dot the cosmos are massive, complex, and new stars are still being born in stellar nurseries all the time. I also like to think of my life from a historical context. Needed a root canal a few weeks ago and was pretty bummed about it till I remember that old-timey dentistry was whiskey and some dude with a steady hammering hand. Hardcore history and other such shows are also excellent workout motivation smiley face. My ancestors used to have to be ready to throw down and scrap. This bike ride to the grocery store is a cakewalk comparatively and it's good for me too. 
I'm not homeless anymore, my chronic illness is in remission, so I can feed myself and even work outside the house. Life is good. We're only here for a minute. Enjoy it. Yeah you're right. Never know how Elma you'll be around so you have to do whatever you can when you can. That experiences with people is what matters most, not money or material. What if experiences with people is the problem? Experience different people. Hopefully this gets past all the award stuff, but one thing that reminds me that everything isn't all bad is that I have people and pets that want me around. I can have an utterly terrible day, come home, and my dog is waiting at the door to greet me. Every day. I'll go lay down, and he'll come cuddle with me. My sister notices the funk, and will make me dinner or a dessert or something to lift my spirits, and I don't have to say a word. I'm close enough with my best friend that he can notice something off about me just by the way I text, and he'll come over to play some video games and talk. Please, please remember that there are people around you that love you and care for you. When you're having an utterly sh** day, there are people that actively want to make it better because they care for you. You may not notice the ways that they do it, but they do. It can be as simple as just asking how your day was, they know, they can tell, or as elaborate as taking you out to unwind and have a fun time to forget and relax. No one is ever alone in this world, even if you feel it. And, if you genuinely feel it, message me. I'm always welcoming conversations from anyone. So I'm having a bit of a day, feeling kind of downtrodden and alone, and your post really lifted my spirits and reminded me to think of all the ways my loved ones do support me. I actually teared up a bit, in a good way. Just thought you might like to know. Thank you smiley face. My kids. They are helping me more than anything else right now. My kids are the best little ass I've ever known. This whole thread is reminding me that life is not always so bad. Thank you. Red Heart. My love for deer on the side of the road, the ones that are alive. It reminds me the innocence of nature and makes me feel warm and alive. Glad you don't love the dead ones. Necrophilic bestiality is one hell of a kink. I remember that Yahoo hasn't given up, so why should I? Reminds me of a saying that I used to repeat to myself occasionally. If Internet Explorer is brave enough to ask to be your default browser, you can be brave enough to ask that girl out. I found this absolutely hilarious and one time it actually gave me the courage to ask somebody out lol. That I'm still breathing. After two suicide attempts I haven't had a negative thought like that in a long f***ing time, a year to be exact. I haven't had a drink in a few weeks and yeah, I'm starting back at a job that I lost a few years ago. Surprised that they're giving me another shot. Also, it's winter but it's been so beautiful the last week, and when my husband gets off work, we're gonna go down to the water and just kick it. I'm so glad you failed both times. Happy to hear you're doing so much better. That I know what Obama's last name is. Tell me tell me tell me. On an infinite timeline, I somehow happen to exist at the same time as Rick and Morty and Honey Mustard and Onion Pretzel Bites. You don't know what you're missing out on my timeline. My youngest daughter Emma. She is one and a half years old and just knows how to enjoy every second of life. She wakes with a smile and goes to bed grinning while holding her Winnie the Pooh. She falls while walking and just dusts herself off and keeps going. Every time she hears a motorcycle she says, ooh, and then, vroom vroom, while signing motorcycle. That I am not part of all the horror that is going on in the world. I am not part of all the by their parents abused teenagers. I am not living in an area where there is war, hunger and no education. I have the extreme benefit of living in a good neighborhood, without any criminal activity. In general, I just compare myself to all the people in my age who have it way worse. Then I realize how lucky I am. How good everything really is. Someone somewhere has gone through something much worse and made it through, why can't I? Remembering that statistically speaking, we live in the most peaceful and prosperous time in history, average lifespan is the longest it's ever been, and the world is slowly yet constantly getting better for everyone regardless of situation. 
It may not always look that way, but on average it is true. I go for a walk. Sometimes a little sunshine will help ease my anxiety. Lack of money isn't that big of a deal when I remember that I have my health, a job I enjoy, and a partner that appreciates me. I look at my adult kids. They are happy, successful adults. Makes me feel satisfied that I did a good job as mom. My mom, she died from cancer at the age of 48 while my sister was addicted to heroin, my dad was cheating on her and was going through bankruptcy, regardless she still showed people so much kindness and was a fantastic woman who was always smiling. I have depression and my life isn't so great right now but I always tell myself that it can get better and that if my mom could live day to day with a smile on her face so can I and I feel more people going through a terrible time can really use an example like her to at least give them a little push in the right direction. This thread. Even if I don't get an award, I love that someone is making everyone's day a little brighter. I think of the soldiers in the trenches in World War I. It puts things in perspective on when I'm getting up early for a stressful day in the office. That people with more money than me are also prone to just wasting it on dumb sh** like Reddit awards. Preamble, I am in no way a badass and in no way am I score boarding anybody. Got mortared a few times in Afghanistan. After that, you come to realize that every day above ground is a gift. You are an absolute legend for making it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you can't get enough, consider subscribing. See you around.